Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is a continuation of my previous three video of this, this, and this. In this video content, it is explained how to convert a very old 8 track cassette player into a very compact integrated amplifier with maximum result. You can subscribe to this video if you like it by pressing the subscribe button. Let's start watching this video right away. Sometimes an electrician also need to do mechanical work. I have to separate this flywheel mount from its housing. Because I want to find a terminal block in it. With great difficulty, I want to find it and I am afraid also that too much pulling or twisting could make this cable break. Now this is what I am looking for. I start by removing the old black wire, then I replace it with a new black wire. Next I remove the white cable and replace it with a yellow one. Next, I also need to replace the red wire. This is positive. Positive is the wire that goes to positive pole of the battery. Last one, this green cable is output to speaker. I have to remove it as well and I have to replace it with a new green wire. A lot of dust and sandir is attached to this body and we have to maintain it by cleaning it. The old cable should be pulled out as far as possible to be sold and then the new cable should be inserted into the opening. This poor cable need to be tidy up as well. Now we have to put this flywheel housing back into the place. And the last one is to tighten the three bolt. Like this later, this is still in the try and successful. This PCB is actually for the magnetic head 3M amplifier, which is high impedance, to be changed so that it can be used as an amplifier, the impedance must be lower using multi-tune potentiometer. To get a good result neatly, we need to pull this prototype. These two multi-tune potentiometer must be glued using B7000 glue on the bottom. Then we put them on the bottom of the mainboard PCB. We will have to wait a few minutes for this glue to dry. The bottom and top cover should be sanded immediately to make painting easier and also to get better result. Painting starts from the top cover then continue with the bottom cover two times or two layers. Three layers of painting is highly recommended. The result will be more perfect. Apply a small amount of metal polish to the surface of the cassette door. Brush on the surface of this door.
So it's shiny, isn't it? The front panel also needs to be cleaned. I use soap and water and use a touch brush. For me, it is better. So it's shiny and shines brightly. The cable opening size is too small because I enlarge the cable size and there is an additional one cable that will enter. So it has to be widened. As a guide for you while watching this video, I also share the before and after schematic diagram. Connect pin 1 of both multi-tune trimmer potentiometer to ground. Connect pin number 2 of the multi-tune trimmer potentiometer to each of the preamplifier input. After the coaxial cable shield ground is connected to ground, connect it to the printed circuit board ground. Connect pin number 3 of both multi-tone trimmer potentiometer to the audio signal input or coaxial core. This is an addition. The blue cable that I connected to the plus is useful for turning the external player unit on and off. The additional cable for the external player on and off control, which is color blue, need to be arranged. Two pieces of coaxial audio cable for input need to be tidy up too. It is best to choose a coaxial audio cable that is well covered by ground. It looks like the main board is done, so we have to aim at the two potentiometer hole to reposition them. Reassemble the two potentiometer nuts. and tighten them with combination player. Don't forget to tighten the two screw located on the back of the main boot. And then tighten the two ball for a balanced potentiometer mount. Arrange these five wires, then insert them into the cable gland. Arrange in such a way that and screw in. Insert the main chassis into the housing. Then push this chassis a little toward the back. Reassemble the two volume and tone potentiometer knobs then screw them in.
reassemble the front panel and once everything is okay, insert all the bolt and screw all over the surface of this car plier. Made in Japan 2301. Then put and install the bottom cover and then screw the full screw on it. Especially for those of you who use it yourself for this car plier, you should use screw made of stainless steel which will be more rust resistant. It is necessary to add a jacket to this audio coaxial cable. I am required to connect this audio cable to female RCA connector. Must be done once again the connection of the RCA female socket audio cable. I have created a new label, maybe this will replace the old label that is broken. Let listen together to the sound reproduction produced by amplifier cassette player.
thank you for watching. See you next time.